decades, this was a sight you'd never see at Wrigley Field, but this evening we come to you from under the lights as MLB The Show welcomes you to another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, a rematch of that now infamous National League Championship Series of 2003, as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Chicago Cubs. And hi again, everybody, alongside Dave Campbell and the Wonder Dog Rex Hudler. I'm Matt Vaskersian as we get set to bring you the call on what should be a good one here. And Soup, we turn to you first. What are you going to be keeping an eye on most in this one? Well, one guy that's going to likely make his presence felt is the former NL batting champion Derek Lee. You'd think that a guy that stands 6'5 would have a handful of holes in his swing, but folks, there's just about nowhere to pitch this guy now. He's got some of the quickest hands in baseball, and they'll likely be on display here. Hanley Ramirez will lead things off and be the shortstop. Cameron Maven bat second, he'll be in center. Cortez will bat third and do the catching. Jeremy Hermida follows him out in right. Josh Willingham is the number five hitter. He's at first base. Dan Ugla will bat sixth and play second. Cody Ross will follow, having a tough time of late against left-handers, so we'll see how he responds. Jose Castillo will hit eighth and play third. Andrew Miller will be on the mound for the Marlins and bat number nine. They'll square off against the veteran left-hander Ted Lilly. Lilly comes off undoubtedly the finest season of his nine-year career in 2007 as he posted a career-best mark of 15 and eight. That number was due in large part to the fact he was able to significantly cut down on his walk rate. And there's a look at the defensive alignment for the Cubs behind him, led by three-time Gold Glove Award winner Derek Lee at first. And standing in is Hanley Ramirez as we are ready to get this one going. Kick things off tonight with a swing and a miss for a first pitch strike as we're underway. That is such a valuable weapon when you can spot the fastball down there. Now the pitch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And he's showing fastball curveball to start the game. He's giving him a good look at what he's got. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Now the 2-2 pitch. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. And it's obvious they want to make him go down and get something because the last three have been down around the knees. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw to first will be in time to retire Ramirez for the game's first out. So one away now, and here's Cameron Mabin. Too high, 1 0. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, 1 and 1. And this series has been almost a total loss at the plate. 1 for 10 to this point. Now the 1 1. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Hit hard to the right. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw on to first, takes care of Maven, and there are two away. Cortez will get his first opportunity now. Yeah. 
Curveball just misses, apparently. 1-0. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. Jeremy Hermida will get his first shot at it here. And a ball 1-0. Two out with the man at first. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and now. And here's a case where you can just sit on fastball. If you don't get one, just take it. And he misses again with it here. It's 3-0 and now. And it's pretty clear they've decided to work him up in the zone here as they've gone up with the last three pitches. Now a fastball, and it's hit on the ground is short. Throw on to Lee will take care of him, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack, no score. And a look there at the starting lineup for the Cubs in this one. Derek Lee will lead things off and play first base. Following him is the left fielder, Matt Merton. And comes Aramis Ramirez over at third. Number three is the cleanup hitter. He'll play second. Mark DeRosa is the right fielder hitting fifth. After that, Giovanni Soto behind the plate. Ryan Terrio is the shortstop batting number seven. After that, it's the veteran center fielder, Jim Edmonds. And doing the pitching and batting number nine, Ted Lilly. Andrew Miller will have the challenge of stopping these guys. This is a guy that's got a workhorse mentality out there, not afraid to throw a lot of pitches, but if he gets careless with his location, he can be hittable. And in the field, Louisville Slugger shows us that the Marlins will align themselves like this. Derek Lee will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Fastball, very easy to lay off that one. It's ball one. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. But a foul ball, one and two now. And he lays off it to even the count, two and two. And the changeup low is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. You just want to crush that thing. That's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. And this is hit on the ground down the line to third. But this is going to land foul, so they'll tee it up again, three and two. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Matt Merton will be the batter. Lee the runner at first, now the pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. And if they try and come back in with another fastball, I wouldn't be surprised if he's waiting on that baby. Let's 
And that misses 2-0. and And that's in there, 2-1. and one. And that's in there at 95. Won't see any of those in batting practice. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will wind up a foul ball, 2-2. Two and two. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Foul ball. Swing shot back up the middle, and that's in there. Base hit. The relay throw, and he is safe on a close play. Ramos Ramirez will be the batter. Now here's the first pitch. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. And, and this guy's already left the yard nine times this month alone, so be careful with him. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit. A run in, the throw to third. And he is safe on a close play. Number three steps in now. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. And this is a big opportunity here for a young player to prove himself to his new ball club. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. And that catches the high outside corner, one and two now. Man, if he can get that call, it wouldn't surprise me to see him inch out a little bit further. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And that is through in the left field, the base hit. Mark DeRosa will take his cuts now. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. Already 20 pitches here in the first. That's got to be a cause for concern. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Not a bad spot to miss. He might even go chase it out there. Cold strike two. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. He's really laboring through a lot of pitches here in the first inning, Matt. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Second walk already here in the first inning. He's just setting himself up to make this a short outing if this continues. Giovanni Soto will stand in with a golden opportunity to open this thing up early on.
Here's the first pitch to him. And this one is off the catcher's glove, and that might be a run. But no, he'll hold it third. Well, they got away with one there. I don't understand at all why there was no advance there. Now he reaches out here and just serves this one out behind first. And that's a fair ball. In the score now is Ramirez. And not in time as the second run scores. And they are just teeing off on him right now. And even in just the first inning, you've got to wonder how much longer they'll let him continue out there. Ryan Terrio will step in now, hoping to extend his hitting streak to eight games here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Yes. In there, no balls and a strike. And now you really need to go to damage control on the mound. Don't make this inning worse than it already is. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Foul! And look out as that one went in and got him. Jim Edmonds. Stand in now looking for more as they really try to put this one out of reach early. And lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but rule the ball 1 0. Infield's at double play depth, so they'll trade a run for two outs here. one -oh on the way. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. To Ugla for one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Ted Lillick digs in at the plate. Wing and to miss that time, it's 0-1. And, and I imagine he's got to be a little shell-shocked out there right now. <laughs> Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And, and when you got a pitcher 0-2, I think I'd try to make him chase something here. <laughs> swing and a soft liner to the right side. But this is speared by the first baseman. Derek Lee will get another opportunity here as they've batted around now. First pitch coming. And that's in there for strike one. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Stays alive here as this is fouled off to the right. Misses, ball two. And even when you're protecting with two strikes, that's a fairly easy location to lay off. This is the tenth man to bat in the inning as they've batted around here. And he reaches for one but can't find it as he's down on strikes for the final out. So a very good outburst here as five runs come across and allow them to take the lead. Second inning coming up here at Wrigley. The Cubs are on top, 
five to nothing. Josh Willingham leads things off now in the top half of the second. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. and And he's been in the dugout a while after that five-run outburst, so we'll see if he shows any sign of rust here. The 1-0 pitch. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Very late on a changeup there as it's hit high in the air down the right field line. And that's a fair ball. Dan Ugla will dig in here. Here's the first pitch. And Lilly starts him with a fastball. It's strike one. And he's just one for 11 in the series, so he needs that bat to heat up a bit. Outside for a ball, one and one. Swing and a line drive to left. Merton is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Cody Ross will get his first cuts here. And this is low, ball one. And sometimes you use one pitch to set up another. Let's see if they challenge him here. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Lee is over now and he's got it for route number two. Jose Castillo will stand in for the first time here. should be routine out there in right field. DeRosa is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Marlins leave one. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Matt Merton will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. the deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. So a solo shot here to left center field. Seven home runs for him on the year now. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Aramis Ramirez is at the plate as he watches ball one. And that's what that four-seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. 1-0 pitch now to Aramis. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. And location on that fastball has been a big problem here in the early going. And he lays off a pitch just below the knees. It's 3-0. and And now you wonder if Lou's going to give him the green light up 3-0. and Pace is empty here with nobody out. Oh. 
taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Oh, he's wishing that take sign wasn't on. Let me hack. Grounded foul. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And past the diving infielder, that's a base hit. Number three will stand in, an RBI single in his first appearance. Low for ball one. Here's the 1-0. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To Ugla for one. On to first, and they get the double play. Mark DeRosa will stride in. He walked and came around to score his first time. And that misses inside, 1-0. Now the 1-0 pitch. Line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. So a runner at first with two away. And standing in is the catcher, Giovanni Soto. Here's the first offering. And he lays off there, 1-0. And you know, he really has not used that slider to its full advantage here tonight. Fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. and oh. And his pitches have been off all night. Very out of character for a pitcher of his caliber. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw in time and the side is retired. So one run here on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and one man left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Cubs lead this one six to nothing. Andrew Miller ready to go here as we begin the third. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Boy, it's pretty surprising to see him hit here since he's already given up six runs. Sticks with the fastball here as he forges ahead 0-2. Good zip to that one. Gets that one in on him before he can get his hands through. And the pitch. Slider strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. So one out now for the Marlins in their half of the third, and it's back to the top of the order now for Hanley Ramirez. And this is taken outside for ball one. One out, nobody on. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. One one on the way. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And they'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Cameron Maben will stand in. He grounded out his first time.
Now a fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. Merton will get under it though and he puts it away to retire the side. Florida down in order. They still find themselves down six zip. Ryan Terrio makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Too low, 1-0. and He'll make you bring that fastball up a bit before he takes a whack at it. Straight away left. This is carrying well out of here. A solo shot here to the left. Home run number five on the year as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Here it comes. Jim Edmonds is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. deep to left center field and he will get there to make the running catch as that ball hung up just a little bit too long Ted Lilly will stand in a line out victim his first time and over towards the dugout but this one will get into the stands Pitch on the way. Hey. Having success with the fastball here. It's 0-2 now. Bases are empty. One man out. And he misses there. One and two. Oh, and how disciplined do you have to be to lay off that pitch on 0-2? Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Here he comes again, one, two. Outside, two balls and two strikes the count now. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Oh, he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Well, with the slider, it's not necessarily the movement, it's the late movement. He goes to swing at this thing, and it's just not there anymore. A new pitcher coming on now. It's the former Crimson Tide standout, left-hander Taylor Tankersley. Back to the top of the order now. And standing in now, the always dangerous first baseman, Derek Lee. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. And these guys are going to need this bullpen to chew up some serious innings. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Oh.
Now here's the pitch. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. So one run on one base hit, the home run, no errors, and no one left on base. On now to the top of inning number four. The Cubbies are in front, seven to nothing. Cortez will dig in. He singled his first time around. First pitch on the way. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. Just rearing back and throwing the heater by him right there. to one and two. Ah, uh, gotta keep the horse in the starting gate there, pal. Wait for that to come to you. Now here it comes. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. And he's really taking command here in the early stages. That's seven in a row he's set down. So the leadoff man retired here, and that'll bring up Jeremy Hermida. Ball one. Yeah, tough to elevate on a fastball down there. That's a good spot to miss. One zero pitch now. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Now a bullet toward third. Base hit. Josh Willingham will stand in. A base hit his first time around. First pitch coming. In there, and it's 0-1. And, and against a guy like this, you get that first pitch fastball, you better be hacking. Runners on first with one down. Changed up on him there, but it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Merton has to range back a ways, but he makes the catch in front of the Ivy for out number two. So two men are gone here in the floor to fourth, and that'll bring in the powerful second baseman, Dan Ugla. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Not a bad idea to work him up and in here with that hard stuff. Two straight fastballs now as he powers ahead 0-2. Can't lay off now down 0-2. Got to open up that zone a little bit and protect. Lilly holds now the pitch. And he won't offer it that. Too high. 1-2. and two. And if you throw enough fastballs in succession, guys are going to time it. So be careful. A runner on first with two away. Fastball, and it's strike three called. Oh, that looked inside, but instead it's the third out of the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Cubs lead it seven to nothing. Matt Merton will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Lays off 1 and 0. And 
And this is popped foul oh. off to the right and back into the seats. And this is hit well towards the hole. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. Ramos Ramirez will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Nobody out, runner on first. And a ball and a strike now to Aramis as that pitch misses. Here's the 1-1. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Takes the change up the other way out toward right center. There to play it is Hermida as he puts it away for the first out. Number three will dig in. One for two thus far. That's by him. It's 0-1. And, and I've been really surprised at how aggressively they've swung the bats early in the count. And he lays off for ball one. Keeping it low, he won't get burned down there. Here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Yeah, and when you leave it up in the hitter's eyes like that, he knows enough not to chase out there. And he puts a muscle into this one. High and deep out to center field. And that is over the outstretched glove. A home run. Two-run shot to straightaway center as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. There to take it is Ramirez. Throw in time at first for out number two. Giovanni Soto will be the batter. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Yeah, with all the runs we've seen so far, it is hard to believe it's still only the bottom of the fourth. Line hard into left. And it'll wind up hanging just long enough for him to run it down. And with that, the side is retired. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. We played four full. The Cubs lead this one nine to nothing. Cody Ross will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Number Starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. And when things are going bad, it seems like these calls always go against you. And there's ball one. Yeah, and that's a good spot to try to get somebody to pop the ball up. Come on, don't get in now. One and two now. Now let's see if he drops that change up on him again for out number one. Now. 
And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And this is hauled in on the run for the out. And he had a lot of ground to cover to get to that one. Jose Castillo will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Lee is under it. Two gone. Scott Bidsednik will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. takes a cold strike 0 and 1 and he might not get a better pitch to hit this entire at bat oh, and this is high. high a ball and a strike might have wanted to go up and get that one but wisely laid off Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And Lee will just take this to the bag himself, and that'll end the inning. So five shutout innings for him thus far. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Cubbies are in front, nine to nothing. Josh Johnson is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Ryan Terrio will step in. He homered his last time around. And a way off balance hack that time. Good for the first strike. Fastball mm, just misses. It's one and one. And if you're going to miss with a fastball, that's the spot to do it. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Oh. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Nope, that's foul. He'll try again, one, two. And that's going to be high, two and two now. And that thing looked like it was still rising at the end. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground a second. Ugla's throw is right there for the first out. One away, and in steps Jim Edmonds. <laughs> Fastball in there for a called strike. One out, nobody on. Reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Hit on the ground towards first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Ted Lilly will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time.
Fast ball. Probably could have gone either way, but ruled a ball 1-0. Oh. Yeah, trying to take back control of that inside part of the plate. That's where you want to be. Swing and a miss for strike one. One one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. Not often you're late on the changeup. He's got to make up his mind quicker. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. So nothing happening this time around. We're through five here at the ballpark. Cubs lead it nine to nothing. And before the Marlins take their turn here in the sixth inning, let's take a moment to check their in-game box score through five innings. It's presented by Upper Deck. Hanley Ramirez will step in, a ground-out victim his last time. First pitch coming. And that's in there for a strike. Thought that might be a pitch he could get on top of. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And wow, tough to lay off the fastball there, but it's one and two. And that's a good two-strike pitch there, as now it might be just to set up something away. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Still a ways to go, but he's looked good so far as he chases his sixth victory of the year. Cameron Maben will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. And they'll start him with a fastball that's low for ball one. Trying to work him down the zone. That's just where you need to keep that fastball. And a foul ball straight back. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball. Now the pitch. Now a ball lined back over second. In there, a base hit. So they're finally able to get another base runner here as with one out that breaks a string of six straight he'd retire. Cortez will get another shot struck out swinging his last time. Now the first pitch in there at the knees strike one and he's just two for nine in the series thus far so he could use a base hit here. And he changed up on him here but this is a foul ball. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. In the dirt here. He's ready now. The pitch. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. Throws over to Lee. Two down. 
Jeremy Hermida will step in. A base hit in his last time. Throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. And he'll be effective if he can keep that fastball down there. Well hit to light. Well, that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Not a bad spot to miss. You'd love to get him to reach for something. Two out here and a runner at second. And a good eye that time by Hermida as the count evens at two. And they obviously think he'll chase a fastball with two strikes because they keep going to it. Ball three. Three and two now. And a fastball swung on, missed, and his side is retired. And that's six shutout innings thus far as he's been very difficult to solve. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Cubs lead this one nine to nothing. And before the Cubs take their swings here in the bottom of the sixth, let's see how they've fared thus far. It's our in-game box score. Derek Lee will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. And this is one of the few guys in the lineup that has not joined the hit parade so far. Foul back. Oh. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strike out of the game. Matt Merton will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. As we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. up and in for ball one. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. Got to look to try and slap that thing the other way. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. That is up, no doubt. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Ramos Ramirez will get another shot now. Two for three in the game.
Good fastball out of Johnson there, and it's strike one. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Runner at first here, one man out. And a fastball not close. It's two and one now. And it misses three and one now. Just got to concentrate on that glove in situations like this. Just get it over. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Matt trying to work the fastball in on the label. That was a good pitch. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. Aramis Ramirez, a two-run home run. The 248th of his career as they just continue to pour it on here. Now here's the first pitch. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. in there as well, 0-2 oh now. On the ground to third. Look at this. Oh, got him. Oh, what a play. Well, not only is this a great play just to get to the ball, but then to throw a strike to first for the out, that is pretty. Mark DeRosa will step in. One for two in the ball game. And that's high for a ball, one and oh. Late swing as this is laced down the line. Yeah, he'll take it to the bag himself. That'll do it for this half of the inning. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We're through six full. The Cubs are on top, 11 to nothing. Josh Willingham will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Here's the first offering. In there, strike one. And he's just continuing the theme here, getting ahead with strike one. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Oh, and I have no idea. How's that not strike three? Here's the pitch. Hard hit to third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. So one gone now for Dan Ugla. Swing and a high chopper. Throws over to Lee, two down. Cody Ross will stand in. He flew out his last time up.
below the knees, one ball, no strikes. one -oh on the way. And this winds up inside for a ball, 2-0 -oh now. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. Maddie's living dangerously by working his fastball up in the zone like that. And this ball will be chopped foul. No, that's foul. Three Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Jose Castillo would be next. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw on to Lee will be in time, and the inning is over. Seven shutout innings for him thus far, as he's really been in control here. Get out the microphone. Stretch time here at Wrigley. The Cubbies are in front, 11 to nothing. So a new pitcher is set to take over now as it's the veteran right-hander Lee Gardner that takes the mound. Giovanni Soto will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. off a pitch in there for the first strike. And this is their fourth pitcher of the night, so there's not much left after this. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Ryan Terrio will dig in. He homered back in inning number three. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. And I think he just got a gift call right there to begin the at-bat. That should have been a strike. And he takes a cold strike one. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. And is this due to statue up there? That's why you bring the lumber, amigo. And two and two. That was a good spot to miss. That thing fell right through the bottom of the zone. And now pitch on the way. Three and two now. And a foul ball straight back. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. So two away now is in steps Jim Edmonds. First offering on the way. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Trying to lock him up there with a fastball. That's a good spot to miss. Back Not quite one. reaching 90 with the fastball, but it's one and one now. Two out, nobody on. Now the 1-1. One, one. In there, 1-2 one and two now.
Lays off two and two now. That was close. Just came around that outside corner, but never quite caught it. Two two pitch is a fastball high, so it runs full three and two. Now the three and two pitch. And now here's a swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs, but they lead it 11 to nothing. Jose Castillo will dig in. 0 for 2 thus far. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1 and 0. The 1-0 pitch. And that catches the outside edge, 1-1. One and, one. and he's just 1 for 8 at the plate here in the series, so he needs to turn things around. And he pumps the fastball by him here, 1-2 and two now. Mm, and it's been a steady diet of fastballs so far. Swing hard liner to left center. Base hit. A change on the mound here as the veteran Bob Howry comes on to work. Mike Jacobs will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Fastball from Howry, always among his better pitches, and it's strike one. He's set, now the pitch. Swing and a miss that time as Jacobs falls behind here. No balls and two strikes. Heck, may as well keep putting down that fastball sign until somebody catches up. Swing and a miss, so the pinch hitter is retired. Hanley Ramirez will stand in. Called out on strikes his last time. Now here's the first pitch. Now a high bouncer toward the hole. Throws over to Lee, two down. Cameron Maben will dig in. He singled his last time around. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out towards straightaway right. DeRosa is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Cubs lead this one 11 to nothing. Justin Miller will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. And we're going to get a pinch hitter here as the veteran left-handed bat of Daryl Ward gets loose in the on-deck circle. Starts him out with a slider too low for ball one. And this is the fifth pitcher they've used in the ball game. So that bullpen's getting awfully lonely down there. Yeah. 
And clearly trying to keep the ball low here. That's ball two. Having a hard time finding the strike zone here to start the eighth. Now the pitch. And this pitch is inside, and he can't find the zone all of a sudden. 3-0. and oh. Matty's come right out of the pen throwing nothing but balls. He better settle down quickly. Let it rip that time 3-0, but the fastball's by him. 3-1. Hmm, and with a big lead, pitchers often think you're showing them up when you're swinging 3-0. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Now the three and two pitch. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first by Ramirez takes care of him. One away. So one gone here in the Chicago eighth. And here comes big Derek Lee. Now the first pitch. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. And there's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. Hermida is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Matt Merton will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and In for a strike, it's one and one. Hit hard, but foul. Here it comes. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two strike pitch and chops oh. it foul. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Oh, well, fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. Ross will have room though as he makes the catch and the side is retired. Cubs are down in order, but they lead it 11 to nothing. Carlos Marmol will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Cortez will get another crack, one for three thus far. Rounded to third. Aramis has got it. Go on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Gets the ground ball out there to start the ninth. Two outs away now from wrapping this one up. Jeremy Hermida will get another crack, one for three thus far. And he takes ball one. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Hermida awaits the 1-1. One -one. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. 
Well, six hit of the game for him, but unfortunately, it has not translated into any runs yet. Let's see if they can get something going here. Josh Willingham will get another crack, one for three thus far. Ball one. center field. Edmonds is there now, and he has it, two gone. Dan Ugla will stride in, grounded out his last time through. And here's the first pitch. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. And, and I think the umps want to get out of here, too. Taking cold strike two. And now they're down to their final strike tonight. Man, I've seen guys be more aggressive clipping their hedges. Swing the bat. Sharply hit ball toward the right side as this gets foul past the coaching box. Florida, good night. Well, all it takes is one quick look at the scoreboard to see this one got pretty ugly out there. I remember being on the losing end of a few of these games in my day, and trust me, they are not fun. So it's a winner for the Cubbies here. And Soup, it's time now for our new era cap. Heads up, play of the game. Yeah, Matt, this one came back in the very first inning. It was just a single and didn't seem like much at the time, but it got him going here and put him on a really track to victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond the call of duty here in this one. He's our upper deck player of the game. Matt, that was seven strong innings for him, and it's always good when you can get your starter to take you deep into the ball game, and he got the bullpen to finish things out for him. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score... The Cubs win this one 11 to nothing. This has been a presentation of MLB 08 The Show. For more, log on to MLB08.com. Good night, everybody.